Hey guys, welcome to my second tutorial video. So this video will be about guiding a marble twice down a closing binder, once while it's up and once while it's down. So if you haven't seen something like this, here's an example. So to start off, the materials you need are two dominoes, a string, tape, a binder, a bunch of blocks, and some more dominoes in case that's what you want to connect your machine with. So the first thing you want to do is you want to attach a string to this block right here. And to pull out this block, I'm going to use a domino. In case you haven't noticed before, you need to tape down your binder so that it doesn't move whenever something like this happens. And I'm going to pull it out right now. And the marble is supposed to roll down like this. Now, let's create a track for this marble to roll on. We need to make sure that it goes down on both sides. So we need Jenga blocks around the top and the bottom of the track. So I'm going to start making a track and we're, I'm going to tape everything down. Now we need to connect the forwards and backwards motion of the ball. And we have a problem because when the ball goes forwards, it just falls off. So what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to add a stopping block. And in this case, the stopping block is just a connects piece with some tape on it. But you can do whatever you want to make a stopping block. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a small domino on the stopping block so whenever the marble just rolls around here it knocks down the domino and it can continue the chain reaction and in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a ton of dominoes and they're gonna continue to this string over here and that's gonna finish off our chain reaction now what the dominoes do in this case is that they connect the forwards action of the marble to this domino which is gonna yank out this string and pull this out which is going to make the binder flip over and it's going to cause the backwards action of the marble which is going to complete the trick you don't have to use dominoes but it's what I'm gonna do in this case so basically the dominoes connect the whole machine together keep in mind that the first domino right here is leaning on the second one to make it easier to fall when this little small thing falls you're done with this trick right now so I'm gonna make it work in three two one And that is how to make a closing binder trick.